welcome back welcome back it is amazing to be in the kitchen i want to say guys trust me we got a lovely recipe which i want to share with you guys um some salmon something very easy simple and quick way you can make at home serve with some rice at the side hopefully you will like the recipe and please subscribe leave the comments below thank you so much for watching we got a lot more ideas and a lot more recipe coming your way so stay tuned um Hopefully we can get at least 500 likes and at least at least 500 comments. That will be brilliant. Thank you so much. It is the end of January. And I want to say we have recipe coming out every day. Now we have recipe going to come every single day where you can think of. We're ready. Back and back again, guys. Honestly, it's going to be amazing. We got recipe coming out every single day. Now, starting from now. All right, enjoy it. So basically, I wanna say I have some red pepper, green pepper, spring onion, and some garlic, some tomato, and some carrot. Um, I got two pieces of salmon, which I'm just going to show you how you're gonna fry it off, and simple, serve it with some all of these seasoning on top of it with a little bit of cheese if you like cheese so it's gonna be a cheese salmon all right enjoy it and please subscribe leave your comments below and this is where we're going to do it you can bake it off in the oven if you like to but we're not gonna be doing it in the oven because you know what i mean we want to get a little bit of flavor on it so first thing look at this nice so basically this is my front pan right here and all i'm going to do is pop two two teaspoon of olive oil in the front pan um, basically first thing is to get your season garlic all of your seasoning I'm just going to fry up the seasoning first Before we fry up the season, let's put a little bit of pepper, cracked pepper, and a little bit of salt. Cover it and leave it for it to fry for about four to five minutes, as you can see. Looking lovely and nice. So allow that to fry for about five minutes. Nice and lovely. So now this is finished. What I'm going to do is scrape out this. Look at that. Once I fry this for five minutes, that's it. Let's scrape out this. Put this one side. Alright. So put that one side. Let's put a teaspoon of more of the extra virgin olive oil. That's what I'm using at the moment. I don't use the other as oil more than the virgin oil all right get your salmon and just put it in like this and like this all right crack a little bit of salt i tell you something you doesn't need in this whole heap of season to cook salmon. All you need is little salt, little pepper, and if you got some herbs. Trust me, guys. It doesn't need no whole heap of seasoning and this whole heap of fast season. Look a bit of this is some dry basil, and this is some some flat dry parcel I'm gonna be using to give it some color. Honestly guys, I learned a lot now since I've been cooking more and more that, you know what I mean, sometimes I have to just avoid the artificial season and just go little salt, little pepper and that's it with some fresh, with a fresh season or some, let's spin it over to the other side. 
as you can see that's the way it look inside of it looking lovely and nice honestly it's really nice already this side is going to pop a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt I got some I got some oregano this is some dry oregano I'm gonna pop a little bit on the outside and simple just cover it and it doesn't it doesn't it's not gonna take him too long to cook I'm gonna put up a little bit more eat rough about three put up on three and that's it Fry that for about five more minutes and it is, you know what I mean, spin it to the other side. As you can see, looking lovely. Let's spin it to the other side. one and then cover it look make it fry for another five good ten five minutes good to go as you can see looking so lovely and nice inside of it so as you can see all the herbs fresh herbs good to go and allow that to fry for more five more minutes yeah so that look mm -hmm. Exactly on that that board. Nice one. That's that's the season on it. Yeah. Looking lovely and nice. Yeah, I can go and fry a little bit more. Nice one. So as you can see, what we're going to do now is pop a little bit of cheese on top of it. You could bake it, you could do this in the oven. But you know what I mean? I know what I'm doing at the moment and I just want to make the fans and see it. exactly what's going on right here. Cheesy salmon. Nice one. And after two seconds, what are you going to do now? Just take off it like this and get that extra veg. on top of it like this right then look a bit more up there of it nice one and let's cover it and leave that for about three more minutes and we're going to shear it on nice one so yeah, I hit this now. All I'm not for do is just sprinkle a little bit of parcel on top of it just to color. Yeah. All right, we're going to shear it out now. I'm going to shear it out. Nice and lovely. So I just shear a little bit of rice. And what I'm going to do now is get that lovely salmon. Alright, and this is the way we serve the salmon, right on some rice. It's just a new style of Chef Ricard I have been doing over the last couple of days. We've been talking about how you can get yourself, even you can put a little bit more of the veg on top of it like this. But this veg is really nice, as you can see. So um, next you can serve it with a piece of a lemon also over the last couple of days I've been doing some research about food and you know what I mean? Sometimes you need something totally different. But guys, as you can see, this is a cheesy salmon fried up with some veg. And right underneath, we got some rice. It's a lovely dish. And you can enjoy it. Subscribe. Please leave your comments below. We got a lot more ideas and a lot more recipe coming out your way. 
um, you don't have to put the cheese if you're allergic to milk you know what I mean some vegetarian don't eat cheese is it you know what I mean some vegetarian doesn't eat it but if you like it please leave your comments below and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching my show we got a lot more ideas and a lot more recipe my name is chef Ricardo and as I said every day we will be putting up a new recipe for you thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye bye